Back in July, I made a video on how to use an AccuQuilt cutting system to make a crazy bowl cozy. I've had some people request a bowl cozy pattern that doesn't require AccuQuilt cutting system. I didn't want to make just the same old bowl cozy pattern, so I came up with this string pieced bowl cozy pattern. These bowl cozies are perfect for using up scrap fabrics. Pair it with a 10 inch by 10 inch piece of fabric for the back and you have a unique bowl cozy. If you don't feel like sorting through those scraps, get a jelly roll or cut various one to three inch strips to use to piece the bowl cozy tops together quickly. We have a tutorial on how to string piece a block. In this tutorial, we will be string piecing in two or more directions. So I'll show you how to string piece in this video. If you need more instructions or tips on string piecing, look in the description of this video for a link to our other tutorial. To get started using my scrap fabrics, I sorted some of my scraps into piles by colors like green, blue, purples, pinks. Then I selected fabrics from each pile that I thought would look good together and used them to piece the tops of the bowl cozies. If the scraps were wide, I cut them into one to three inches strips. Use a variety of widths. The top will piece faster if the strips are wider, so you can even use wider strips too. You will need a variety of strip lengths from three inches long to about 11 inches long. So you can even use some of those really small scraps when you get to the corners. A soup bowl cozy is a must when microwaving leftovers. They can be put in the microwave around the bowl and give you an easy way to remove the bowl after heating without burning your fingers. You can also use a bowl cozy around an ice cream dish so your hands won't get cold when you're holding the dish. These will make wonderful gifts for the holidays and birthdays. Every household can use one or more of these bowl cozies. We even have a bowl cozy information card you can include with your gifts. Once you make one cozy, you won't be able to stop. These come together so quickly and easily. In the description of this video, we will have a link to the free written tutorial for this project available on our website. We will also have links to the wrap and zap, thread, and other supplies needed for this bowl cozy project. If you would prefer an ad free printable PDF of this tutorial, please click on the link to visit our Etsy shop. Bowl cozy patterns are made from 100% cotton fabric with two layers of 100% cotton batting. It is very important to use 100% cotton fabric, batting, and even 100% cotton thread when making bowl cozies. If the fabrics or threads are not 100% cotton, they can melt, burn, or cause a fire in the microwave. I recommend using Pellon Wrap and Zap when making your bowl cozies. This product is specifically made for use in the microwave. If you are looking for another 100% cotton batting, make sure that it does not contain polyester scrim, glues, or binders. Scrim can be a very thin polyester stabilizer and is needle punched into the cotton fibers. Polyester scrim makes the batting unusable for the microwave. What you will need to make these string piece bowl cozies, 100% cotton scraps ironed and cut into one to three inches strips or a jelly roll with two and a half inch strips, or a variety of strips cut from fabric yardage, a 10 inch square of cotton fabric for the back, two 10 inch square pieces of wrap and zap, 100% cotton thread, a fabric marking pencil or chalk, rotary cutter, mat and ruler, a smaller ruler for measuring and marking the darts, quilting clips are optional or pins, scissors, and a blade saver thread cutter is also optional. You will also need a sewing machine. These bowl cozies are also a fat quarter friendly project. Pick out two coordinating fat quarters and you can make a bowl cozy. These bowl cozies can also be cut with an AccuQuilt cutter. If you're using an AccuQuilt large bowl cozy die, I would recommend that you cut the, fat, the backing and the two pieces of wrap and zap to be a 10 and a half inch squares instead of 10 inch. Then use this tutorial to learn how to string piece the
the top of your bowl cozy and go to our other bowl cozy with the AccuQuilt tutorial in order to learn how to finish your bowl cozy. The assembly of a bowl cozy when using the AccuQuilt die is a little bit different than what we will be doing. I usually make more than one bowl cozy at once since it's easy to do each step for multiple cozies. This can speed up the process of making a bunch of bowl cozies. Cut two 10 inch squares of wrap and zap for each bowl cozy to be made. Cut one 10 inch square of backing fabric for each bowl cozy. Gather those one to three inch strips of fabric or other fabric to use for the string piece top. Iron the strips flat. Prepare the backs of your bowl cozies by layering the backing fabric right side up on top of one of the pieces of the wrap and zap. Use a fabric marking pencil or chalk and a ruler to mark a line from corner to corner in each direction on the back of each of the cozies. At your sewing machine, thread your top and your bobbin with 100% cotton thread. Use a straight stitch at the standard stitch length. Sew from corner to corner following your marked lines. There is no need to back tack at the beginning or end because we will be sewing it together and that will secure the seams. I chain stitch the diagonal lines. This saves on thread and it's also faster to just sew one line after the other. We have a tutorial on chain piecing if you need one. After stitching the first set of lines, Use your bl handy blade saver thread cutter and cut the or scissors and cut the thread in between each one of your bowl cozy backs. Stack them nicely in reverse order so that you can keep them in order. Then turn them and sew the diagonal line in the other direction using the same chain piecing technique. After stitching these lines, we'll set aside the backs for now while we work on the top. The tops of your bowl cozy will be string pieced with the strips of fabric scraps. Here are some samples of some string piece bowl cozy tops. These two I pieced in this direction first and then I put the long strips in the opposite direction. I always start from the center and work my way to one corner. Then I piece the other direction. Then I finish piecing with these strips. In my scrap bin, this strip was already pieced together, so I just cut it and used it as a strip. For this one, I started piecing as I did the first ones I showed you, with this piecing going across. But then instead of piecing the second half of this, I decided to turn the block and piece in this direction across. And then I finished with these strips. As you can see here, I use some much larger strips and some thinner strips. The larger the strip you use, the less strips you will need and less time it will take to piece the top. Start the block by taking your second piece of wrap and zap and draw two diagonal lines corner to corner. Start the string piecing by placing a strip along one of the lines from the center onto the corner. Make sure the strip extends past the center line by at least one quarter of an inch and also extends past the corner. Pin the strip in place if needed. Next, take a second strip and place it right side facing down along one of the edges of the first strip. Line up the raw edges of the strips. So a quarter inch seam along the edge from the center to the outside of the block. I'm using my quarter inch foot to help with measuring the quarter inch seam. Next we'll press the seam open. I have this pressing mat sitting and my small iron right here next to my sewing machine because it makes it a lot quicker to press after each one of the strips. This strip is pretty long so I'm going to trim it just by cutting off the long part, just make sure you're past the edge of the block. Select another strip, place it face down, and then sew the quarter inch seam again. Okay. 
Make sure each strip extends at least one quarter inch past the center line and past the edge of the wrap and zap. Continue adding strips and sewing them on all the way out to the edge. As you can see, I've placed the strips across, sewed each one of them until it completely goes off the edge in the corner. Next, I'll finish by sewing strips going in this direction. When I'm sewing this other direction, I'll start by sewing from the outside in. So there's the first half of this block done. As you can see on the back, everything is extending past the edge of my wrap and zap. So next I'm going to add strips to the other half of the block. I'm going to start with one long strip across the center. I'm going to line it up along the edge of the first strips and then sew a quarter inch seam allowance again down the edge from one side to the other. And there we go. First strip there. And as before, I'm going to iron after each, I add each strip. So I'm going to finish adding more strips in this direction until I've covered the whole block. So here I finished strip piecing across the whole entire block and it's covering everything all around. So I'm going to have fun strip piecing a few more of these. Okay, so here's one of my string piece tops and next we're going to trim it to the size of the backing. Take my long ruler and my rotary cutter and just trim off all of, these, all of the excess around the whole thing. To make the bowl cozy into the bowl shape, we will sew four darts into both the front and the back of the bowl cozy. Each dart will be in the middle of the sides. To make the darts, take one of your fabric squares and fold it in half. So the dart is going to be two inches long this way by three quarters of an inch wide. So I found the easiest way to mark this is to take my ruler, line up three quarters of an inch here and two inches that way and take my marking chalk or pencil and mark it. Then take the ruler and go from the point at the end of each mark and then mark a line, a diagonal line like that. And that's your dart sewing line. I've marked the darts on all the tops and backs of the bowl cozies and I have them all lined up here and ready to be sewn. I like to chain stitch the darts to speed up the process. So that's why I have them all lined up. And I start, I always start from the inner part of the dart and go to the outside of the dart. Like before, we're using the cotton threads on the top and the bottom. And on, I have my regular standard presser foot right now on and I'm going to use a regular stitch length. Now don't forget to back tack on the beginning of the dart. Sew along the dart line and you don't have to back tack on the end because we're going to be sewing around to attach the bowl cozies together so we don't need to back tack on that end. And I stitched a few stitches off the end and I put the next one under. Don't forget to back tack at the beginning and stitch the dart. So I'm going to continue stitching these first darts and then I'll be back in a few minutes to show you the second. As you can see, I've stitched them all together and they're all chained together. So I'm going to cut apart the chains like I did before and stack them so that they'll be in the same order. So now I'm going to stitch the second dart going the other direction. And again, I'm starting from the inner part of the dart and then sewing to the edge of the fabric. All right, so I've got, I've got all the first two darts sewn. The next step would be 
open each piece up, fold it in the opposite direction, then mark and sew two more darts on these, this side. So then you'll have a total of four darts, one on each edge. After you've sewn all four darts, then trim them to a quarter inch seam allowance. So here's my front and the back of the bow, bowl cozies, and they're looking more like bowls now. The next step is to sew them together. Take the bowl cozies and turn one of them and place them right sides together. Then open up the dart seam and finger press it open on both sides, matching two of them together. And I like to use these quilting clips to hold it together because these clips are great when you have bulky fabrics that you want to hold together. So I'm going to start by just clipping all four of the darts together. Then I'm going to match the corners up and place a clip in each corner to hold them together. So there you have the bowl cozy clip to get clipped together and ready to be sewn. Sew together the front and back pieces with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Leave a 3 inch opening for turning on one side between the dart and the corner. When you're sewing over the darts and around the corners, sew slowly. I like to start sewing pretty close to one of the corners. To help me remember to stop at the end and leave an opening, I take the first clip and place it as a double clip right by the last clip where I'm going to want to stop. Start near one of the corners and back tack to secure it. As you approach the corner, stop with your needle down, pivot 45 degrees, stitch a few stitches, like three stitches across the, the corner towards the next side, and then turn again and start stitching down the other side. By doing this in the corners, it will help when you're turning to be able to pop the corners out. I have this clover stiletto tool and I like to use that to kind of hold down the seams of the darts as I'm sewing across them. Since there's so many layers where the darts are, be sure to sew a little bit slower across that area. All right, so I'm approaching the corner again. So I'll stop a little bit before the corner, pivot 45 degrees so the point is facing that way, stitch three or four stitches across, pivot again, and then continue sewing down the other side. I'm approaching my double clips here. That reminds me to stop and actually back tack and leave my opening. So I stitch just across the dart and then back tack. So there you can see there's a little bit of a straight line there across the corners. That will give us a place to trim and leave a little bit of a seam allowance and be able to get rid of this whole corner. I'm going to continue sewing together the rest of the cozies I'm making and I'll be back in a little while. We're ready to clip the corners and around the darts. Since we stitched those few stitches across the corner, you can trim that corner, each of the corners, to be about a quarter of an inch away and then clip on each side of the corner a bit just to make sure I can get this turned well. For the darts, I usually clip on each side of the dart and be sure you're not clipping across your stitching. And I clip right in the center of the dart. And I think that helps it lay a little bit more flat. Turn the bowl cozy right side out. And it's helpful to just go to the corner and flip 
each corner so I can turn the corner and kind of push it out with my thumb and fingers there before I pull it through. Use a stick or a pencil or something to push out those corners and I usually run it along the seams to try to push the seams all the way out to make sure they're fully turned. Next, go to your ironing board and give the whole cozy a good pressing and also flip the seam opening in to the center and iron that well. And you can put a few uh, clips or pins along here to hold that together. All right, so I have all of them turned and pressed nicely. And I just put a couple clips where the opening is. The final step is to top stitch or edge stitch about one quarter to three eighths of an inch away from the edge all the way around. This will help hold the layers together. As you're stitching around, go slow over the dart areas and around the corners because there's a lot of layers in the darts and you don't want to break your needle. It will also close up this opening. The string piece bowl cozies are finished. There's the back and the front and they're all top stitched around the edge and around the corners and the opening has been sewn closed. If for some reason your opening doesn't close all the way then you can always use a needle thread and a ladder stitch and stitch that closed. I recommend that you wash the bowl cozies before gifting or using them. This is just to be sure that there's no sizing or anything on the fabric that can cause a fire in the microwave. Always use caution when using the bowl cozy in the microwave and always supervise when microwaving with the bowl cozy. As a bonus, we have also created a printable instruction sheet to include with your bowl cozy gifts. Click the link in the description to download the free printable. We hope you enjoyed learning how to make these strip pieced bowl cozies. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Like and share our videos, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss future videos. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other sewing tutorials and free projects. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly newsletter so you won't miss new tutorials. Happy sewing!